Hey, fantastic Friday to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I know your time is valuable, especially on a Friday. But I believe Friday here is like Saturday in America, right? Yeah. So it's a day off for everyone here in Antigua, Guatemala. I'm sitting on, at the home of my new ambassador, Nick. And we had tried to do a live uh, interview last week. And uh, I guess the interview failed and the internet went out. Or, yeah. You know, technology, there's always something going wrong. But as you, uh, you, if you've been listening to me, don't let anything upset you. Because if something upsets you, you let it upset you, right? Exactly. Don't awesome. let people upset you. Don't let the traffic upset you. Don't let life upset you. You can let it roll off your shoulder like a um, water on a duck's uh, um, beak. Or I don't know. My, my dad used to say, uh, bitterness is a pill you take hoping the other person will stay. <laughs> and so it's better to... Take a happy pill instead. Take a happy pill. Be yeah. happy. Yeah. Uh, I love that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Oh, yeah. Makes I me want to dance. It's the simplicity of things that we get so caught up in the whirlwind of our chaotic lives that we forget you know, the basic stuff. Yeah. Take your time, take off your shoes, ground your feet. Be yes. Happy. Take off your shoes and walk on the sand and the dirt and the and uh, the earth uh, is really fantastic. So we're going to, um, as, as I do, I talk about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, one of the things I, I was just thinking, I said, these are never rehearsed, they're never edited, and they're usually never a second take. This is a second take because uh, last time we talked for an hour. I know. And I think we got 10 minutes or something on, on tape. Oh, but great, great. you're Sorry. an expat, right? Yeah. Now, I didn't know what even that was till, because even when I was in Egypt, there weren't many expats because nobody goes to Egypt, you know, to, yeah. um, to be an expat. I have what, in your opinion, what is an expat? Someone who repatriates from another country. Um, someone that is... I, I don't like the term expat because it means that you're no longer patriotic. That's what I was thinking. Does that mean you just disowned your country or what? In many ways, it's, it is a very harsh way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Caramel, no barking. No barking. Sorry, if someone had technical difficulties with my dog. Caramel, you come here. We're going to introduce Caramel to the video. You come here. Come say hi. And this, yes. these are unrehearsed and oh, live. This is one of my rescue dogs. This is Caramel. He rescues a lot of dogs. Oh, yes. He's a big baby. He's a big, big grumpy Doberman that is a beautiful dog. Beautiful, beautiful dog. He's, he's, he's aptly named. Um, caramel, because he's the caramel color. Yeah, and he's sweet. Make like life caramel. simple, you know. <laughs> you like wouldn't want to call him Blackie. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, he's, he's a good boy. So okay, okay, so go on. Um, gosh, I got completely distracted. You're talking about expats. Oh yes. So, you know, um, I. Oh gosh, I spent so many years in cold winter Canada. <laughs> I just I can't imagine ever going back. He's Canadian, and, and so um, du Montréal, le côté français. I, uh, I do miss my my French Canadian culture, but uh, just like the weather, the people are warm and, and friendly, and there's community and God and it's one of the holiest places on the earth. Oh yeah, we are at the Antigua. mecca of Christianity. The mecca of Christianity. I might have to adopt religion, everybody. Well, it's funny. I I was an atheist before this pandemic, and now I just got Bring baptized. Bring this camera a little bit closer. I want to sure. Answer. Yes, I. You guys can see us all. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So um, no. there's no mistakes in life. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no. Everything happens as it should. Yeah, no coincidences, and and um, you know, living here made me appreciate appreciate what uh, what was missing in my culture, but also allowed me to to understand a different perspective and a way of looking at the world that is just sweeter, more innocent, more God-fearing, more peaceful. In many ways, you know, the humdrum, workaholic, rat race, rat race, you know, matrix of... of Concrete life. jungle. Yeah, where Nietzsche said God is dead and we've, we've become much more atheistic. There is something, there is a God-sized shaped hole in the culture of the West right now that Guatemala has been able to retain. Well, I've met the most beautiful people here. 
so far. I've um, only been here three weeks. Uh, Nick here has been here six years. He's applied for residency. Yeah. Um, there's a whole process to that. You can't, you can't leave for five years. It's funny, these residencies, like you're trapped unless there's a funeral or something. Yeah, like exactly. You can leave for. Well, I mean, there's so much to see here, and uh, I regret spending so much time in the West anyway. I prefer to be in Guatemala. I could still sneak to El Salvador and Nicaragua, I think, but um, Guatemala is one of the most... When, when, when people walk by, there's a bad thing this here. Oh, that's his dog. Arch, his arch enemy dog right there. That's why it's, it's another pre- dog. Protecting us. That's good. Yeah, Dobermans or Dobermans. And, you know, like that. So, yeah, I mean, the last time we were talking, when we were talking about the cultural differences between Guatemala and uh, Canadian and American society, and, um, you know, I'm hoping, or I'm thinking, that we are going to go back to the traditional time in the West as well. I think right now... You're dreaming me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can hope and pray. And no, I mean, the current stuff. The current it's, 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 it's too greed. It's, it's just based on money. Um, I, I should say all greed, but it's based on money. You know, we need money to pay the rent, but the system teaches you to go to school, get a degree, get a job, and then retire. Yeah, and, um, so. and people who buck the... I've interviewed many people who buck the system. They were making lots of money. Um, they decided, to, uh, no, this is just money. I'm in a, I'm in a cubicle. Caramel, Caramel, stop barking. Oh, bad dog. Go see that dog. I'm sorry. Caramel, very bad dog. No barking. Dogs are dogs. Kid. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's it's stopped. okay. You're just pretty Caramel, Caramel come, here. Sure. come here. Come here. No barking. You're filming. You're doing this. It's live, Caramel. Don't you know? I mean, it's not live. <laughs> we tried well, the live. Yeah, well, okay. So, uh, sorry for my dog barking, but he was this vicious street dog that was saved and now has been trained to become this loving animal. And that's all you need to do is give lots of love and eventually... I think he's just protecting you because someone's yeah. walking near his pro- oh, property. Yeah. So. No, he just saw a dog next yeah. to Bodhi. You can't let anything upset you and this doesn't upset me in the least. Okay, good. Nothing upsets me anymore. It just kind of... That's amazing. Well, my, me too, but maybe from numbness. <laughs> from all the propaganda <laughs> I've been then. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, it's been... It's been intense to watch. And yeah, maybe it is my hope that we go back to a more God fearing traditional society. Maybe I'm Well there are there they are they are there and Tigo is one, as, yeah. you're, as you're saying, so you are you've escaped, so now rather than change the whole world what you want to do, um, just accept that you're in, in, in heaven, ignore the rest of the world, which you can do because you're not in the rest of the world. You're not in Russia, you're not in China. You're not in Germany, yeah. you know, uh, or America or Canada. You're here. And um, and as you know, the three commitments to kindness is you come first. So you need to be happy yeah. in yourself. I know you're frustrated about the, the um, fascist, what you call the fascist communist systems. And I don't think you and I can change them. It would take a yeah. lot of people to change them. And getting people together is like herding cats. You know, I mean, you really can't. No, I've yeah. got they're they're all individuals. They're all unique. You, we all have a, 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 our own set of fingerprints, our own set of irises, our own voice. There's eight billion different voices on the planet. To me, that boggles the imagination that yeah. we're so unique and so individualistic, and yet we're a, a species that, to me, are very low on the evolutionary scale. I mean, ants and dolphins have it much. Or much smarter than, than humans, in my opinion. Well, more of a collective hive mind, and dolphins are very smart, yes. No, I mean, we are more destructive to our own society, and we have a parasitical aspect to our, you know, because we, you know, we and we have to learn, we, and we're going to change. I think we, we were born into a system that is going to change for the better. I'm going to start off on a positive note. Good. I think, don't, I talk, think, don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. And the and the the old system that that has made us this way because money creates greed. Money and this and this whole and and I think we're going to surpass it. I think you know. Well, you have if you're living in Antigua. Yeah. See, that's the whole purpose. I mean, it's such a big world, and I travel the world and I see all the different diversity and the different people, and I want to change it. You know, I want everyone to be kind because if you're kind, those two words. Solves all mankind's problems. It really solves all mankind's problems. Two no, words. it's true. And the th- but this is what we were talking about before. I I think your message is so important. 
and I want but I want to have the same message, a similar message as well. But I also want to talk about non-compliance and not not agreeing to our own enslavement, not agreeing to this, you know, this new tyrannical system that is not kind, that is not loving. And I I realize living here in Guatemala that this is a kind and loving and more gentle society than my own. And that's why I have terrified to go back. But um, spreading that message to the outer world, even if I can't change 99%, you know, even if I, even if I will anger most people. What you do, I'm told. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> He's can... disowned by his family, everybody, yeah, yeah. and his friends, because he was, um, he wanted to, you know, it's almost like trying to change someone's political party. Uh, it's nearly impossible, even if the facts were true, because they don't want to hear them. And with COVID, unfortunately, for this young man, um, broke up his family and his friendships, because he knew about the vaccines, and, and he knew about COVID, and we don't, we we're not going to talk anything negative here today. Yeah. But that... Him wanting, him caring, and wanting to change other people's their opinions, and family and friends, dear friends, it didn't backfired, and they and he's been disowned, unfortunately. So yeah. he's bitter in that respect, um, and he, he he had good intentions. What do they say? The road the road to hell it's is paved with, with good, good intentions. intentions. Oh, I know, and I mean, we lived in each country has its own little propaganda bubble, and so my bubble was not aware of propaganda in Canada, so I did not expect that backlash. It was it was severe to be against lockdowns and masks and mandates and, and you know, for a political, uh, the, now the personal is political and it, it's everything has become so hyper I think it was the biggest brainwash in history that, that I've ever known. Oh, by far. The largest propaganda campaign. 26 trillion dollars, they're going, what did we make? And when, the, uh, when it yeah. slowed down, they said, we gotta come up with a new a uh, new one. Oh, there's a variant, and then there's another variant, and there's yeah. another variant. And there's monkeypox, and oh then my there's goodness. a UFO thing, and the <laughs> banking collapse, and the Russian-Ukrainian war, and it's just a constant barrage and well, You know, the news. The news is an entertainment program. Is we love violence, we love train wrecks, we love, and so the, the, the dictum to the news is if it believes, it leads. So. The, the director is saying, what happened in the world today that's just horrific? How many people died? Because they start the news with the worst tragedy on the planet. It doesn't matter where it is, and it's instant news nowadays. Everything's instant. In the Old West, it was a, a newspaper once a month that you could, oh, the, former Jones died, right? Yeah, yeah. And now it's instantaneously uh, across the, the planet. And it's oversaturation. It's so much information that we can't even digest it. And... Now the truth is relative, it's post-fact, post-evidence, uh, you know, news cycle. And I, I it's, it's hard to watch, because if you believe in absurdities, you commit atrocities. And, so, and there's not yeah. enough time in the day to watch all the news. No. I mean, there's YouTube shows that are coming out. And I, I've been watching podcasts when I was in Belize. Yeah. And this podcaster would be on another podcaster's podcast. And that podcaster would be on this podcast. And there's like, it's like musical chairs are all podcasting the same stuff over and over again yeah. on each other's podcasts. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, and, and I mean, the here and go no further group. So if you want to talk about conspiracies and, and future plans and UFOs and all sorts of crazy stuff, um, a lot of it is true, but a lot of it can't even be put on YouTube in the first place. And so these podcasters... Well, there's no free speech anymore. Oh, no, none. Oh, that, that went away. Oh, I mean... Say one word bad... And your whole career is down the tubes. That one um, congresswoman, she asked a black lady where she's from. Yeah. And she goes, oh, I'm from Atlanta. And she goes, no, no, where are you really from? That ruined her career. Yeah. Well, because the, the, it meant, you know, you're not from America. Yeah. So where are you really from? No, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I, I, cancel culture came for me. I mean, still to this day, it's been three years since I spoke out against the, the lockdowns and the mask mandates and the vaccines. Um, because I knew it would cause a devastation in the third world. And uh, I have not had a single word with anybody in my family. No contact, no response, nothing. Just complete blackout. So it's been, whew, it's been surreal. And, you, uh, went, you became a hermit. Oh, yeah. 
Well, Which I was kind of in Egypt a little bit. <laughs> well, we all, we all, you know. We all, there's times when you need to get away from I think all we were all bullshit, forced you know? to be hermits. At some point, and that's how so many people awoke, is that they were forced to finally stop for a second and think and take their time to sort of reflect and critically analyze what is really going on. And, um, you know, it allowed people to... I think we're all, everybody on this planet is going through some sort of awakening process. Of, of, I hope so. Well, you know, everybody, I would hope so. Everybody but has you don't know what to believe anymore. You watch Jurassic Park, those dinosaurs look real. I mean, I don't even believe you. I used to think YouTube, or, or at least the, um, you know, the non-mass media was telling more of the truth. Yeah, I and now, I, I, I don't even believe the, um, you know, the, the internet. Because it's all... It's well. That's, that's so the thing. It's, it's all computer control. generated. AI I, mean, now. I, I stopped trusting the news and stuff in English. I don't know years ago. I, I don't trust any news now. If you look at we, the Turkish or the Russians or the Chinese or the Sri Lankan, I mean, the news is the complete opposite. Here is the complete opposite of, you know, in Canada, you know, here is and in the states, blood, war, action, bleeds and leaves. In Canada, it's like a kitten got stuck in a tree. Oh, really? And now well, that's we have the firemen, and, you know, and, it... and many ways we're lambs to the slaughter because we're so innocent and naive to, like, the, the reality and corruption of our governments. And this awakening process, and that's why I'm on Keep It Positive always, yes. this awakening process is going to allow us to go back to our roots, allow us to create our own communities away from this technocratic, oligarchical serfdom that is trying to enslave us. And I think this is the first time in thousands of years that we have a real opportunity to throw off the chains and shackles and systems of oppression that they've used through inflation, through our monetary systems, through, through disinformation and controlling the narrative. And so that narrative is collapsing and we are finally going to be free of one of the most evil to and it's and it's a war for our minds. We are living through World War Three, but it's a war for you know. In my country, freedom is a bad word. It's considered a a right wing, you know, white supremacist talking. Well, you, they want you to fall in line and make the money. The seventeen well, families. That's it. For the seventeen families, exactly. And this is where I want to do that presentation, and we'll we'll, 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 we'll go into detail. This is. This but you know what's really here. bizarre about this planet is that there are civilizations existing today that don't know about electricity, that don't know about all everything that we're talking about. They they, they get together at night, they dance around the fire, and they and dance, and they sing, and they're happy, and they don't have the the problems that uh, society has created. But it's the numbers, you know. Yeah. But since I was born. I did the math. Over six billion people have been born after me. After me. It's amazing. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's well now, now we're about to go through a pre precipitous population drop and we'll be, well, you know, the, the whole... Well, you're the um, Georgia Guidestones? Yeah, well, yeah, the Georgia Guidestones, <laughs> I don't think... I was there. Gonna, I was in Georgia. I saw them. Yeah, personally. I know, 500 million, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think we're going to go that far, but it's going to be... Well, uh, AI might do that. Well, demo AI, demographically, AI is going to save its own butt. We're but just not having kids if the entire West is only having one kid per family. Well, they it's tried that in China, and it backfired on them. Yeah. Well, they now work. they've done it through psychological, you know, manipulation. Well, it's all about psychological. And, and economic. It's the mass uh, media. People watch TV at night, and you know, it brainwashes them to what, what the, the 17 families want you to believe. Well, children used to be a, um, you know, a boon, and now they are a burden in this new sort of society and considered bad for the environment. I mean, we've been, we've been taught so much stuff that I, I've created a list, you know, of He's world. got a list. I have lots and lots of lists. I just make lists every day. I write every day because if not, yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, why I do these kinds of videos is cathartic. I, I have to show you some of my videos soon because it really, uh, Well, I do these because many people can't do what I've done. Certainly, they didn't want to leave the house when it was COVID, and that's when I left the house to travel the world and yeah. teach kindness. But um, certainly, many people haven't been able to see the pyramids and, or Mount Fuego, right? Fuego. Uh, yeah, I think Fuego. I, I said it again yesterday, Fuente. I don't know why I call it Mount. It's not uh, Volcano Fuente, know. but it's Fuego, and it exploded a couple of times yesterday for some uh, of the new guests that um, where I'm staying. It was pretty cool. 
them to see it for the first time. Oh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Just... I still haven't seen the, the fire at the lava at night. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see that. Stay here, you'll, you'll take a look at night tomorrow. Yeah, maybe it's the angle or something. But at any rate, so um, we're going to have many conversations with Nick. This was just, I don't want to go too long because I know your time is valuable. Your, your weekend is here. Have fun every day. Um, say kind words. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to all others and the creatures. This young man is kind to the creatures like you can't believe. Rescues dogs. Um, Eco Farms is, uh, we're going to be working with them, doing some great things. I uh, uh, asked um, uh, Emilio if he had a kitchen there, because I need a new kitchen now, yeah. for the, the food program, if I can watch that. Yeah. And he said, maybe, you know, maybe we'll just buy a big stove. At any rate, um, so have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for tuning in. And Nick is, is so full of, he's got the memory. I, if I had I, uh, the memory of him, I, uh, my goodness, my life would be something different. Yeah, well, something different. But it is what it is. Uh, don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. Accept as you as you are. I accept myself that I'm old, I'm bald, and I have um, a great sense of humor. I accept that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta laugh at life. Laugh often. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at everything. Don't get stressed. Stress is all your fault. Have fun in life because it's very very short. Before you know it, you're gonna be 30 years old like me. Have a fantastic yeah. weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching. And one more bark. One more bark. No barking. <laughs> <laughs>